Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Fort Worth, Texas, with a real nimrod of a frauditor named Texas Gal Audits as she attempts to audit the local post office, only to find herself, uh, well, being booted out, trespassed, and removed from the facility, pretty much. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Howdy folks, welcome back, Texas Scout Audits here. We are in the downtown Fort Worth area. We're here to do an audit on the post office. Here's our poster sign. Which, despite what you nimrods say, it doesn't grant you the right to film in a post office any time you damn well feel like it. I mean, you guys just stop reading it after the first uh, piece of the uh, paragraph, because if you read the entire paragraph, you'll realize how poorly educated you sound when you try to read the damn thing. Or uh, a cherry-picking, dishonest, lying-ass frauditor. Either way, you're a complete ignoramus. Just then. Did you need some help? No, ma'am, I don't. Okay. Is there a reason why you're filming us? Yeah, you're a public employee. I'm just here just to see what my government's up to to see how transparent they are today. Hey, hey, nitwit. Uh, maybe you should go back and... Uh, Get yourself a better education or a better brain because you do know that the uh, post office does not get any government funding. It is entirely self-managed, pretty much. I mean, come on now, dumbass. At least, at least look into these things. Who? Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry, what? I am here exercising my First Amendment right to record my government while my government is working in the course of their duties. Okay. Right here. Uh, sounds like they're calling the police. Hopefully the police will give them an education of what we're doing. We have the right to videotape in public and publicly accessible areas. Not very likely, dumbass. In fact, you're about to get an education in the fact that they do have a right to uh, trespass you if you are being a nuisance on their property. So I hope you enjoy your education. Which I have the absolute First Amendment right to do film in public and publicly accessible areas. For what reason? We all have the freedom of press. You, that's not my question. Because we all have the freedom. That's, not, that's still not a question. I'm utilizing my freedom. For what? Because I want to utilize my freedom. For what reason? Because I personally yeah, like yeah, to use my freedoms. For nothing? No if, for nothing? Like no, if I don't use my freedoms, it's like muscles. If you don't use them, you lose them. Oh, that's a really horribly bad argument right there. Tell me, uh, what rights have we lost to the ones that we haven't used? I mean, can you explain which ones uh, we have lost? Because, well, I know one uh, right that we don't ever use in this country, and it's still in the Constitution. It's called the Third Amendment. Why don't you try, I don't know, doing a little bit of research and well, understanding that you don't lose rights that automatically. In fact, it will take an act of Congress to remove these rights out of the Constitution. And that has only happened once in the entire history of the Constitution. And I'll let you take a guess as to what that amendment was that was rescinded in the Constitution. If you're capable of doing the research, Frauditor, which I doubt you are. But at any rate, uh, she hangs around filming these guys for the next 15 to 20 minutes, uh, annoying the hell out of them, until the police show up. So let's go ahead and skip to that part, rather than watching her stand around uh, being a royal pain in everybody's ass. Much, much later.
Your guys with guns came to protect you. Hey, you pretty good. How you doing? Good. Uh, I'm going to shoot you though. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's time to go. Why is it time to go? Because this is a business. Time, place, and manner. I am conducting business. What are you doing? I am filming my government while my government is working, and then I am going to be making a transaction so I can do a survey. Now you want to make a transaction. Oh, I said this on film. Oh, now you want to make a I've said it on film. I've actually said it twice on film to this gentleman. And I will FOIA request all those videotapes up there that said that I was that was here to make a transaction, and that I'm here to make the transaction in time, place, and manner, and he did this. A person, a person who makes a transaction will make the transaction right now. I, I didn't know that there was a certain time to make a transaction. Okay, so why are you here and why are you reporting? I'm here. Okay, I, I am right. here. So, he well, cannot control this situation, I, and please let's you. do this legitimately. Oh, are you that power tripping frauditor? You know, he can't control the situation. Oh, yes, he can. He runs this building. He can have you trespassed and removed should the need arise. And apparently the need has arisen because you have no business here. Otherwise, you would have conducted it and left already, you lame brain dunce cap. I mean, don't you ever know what trespassing laws are? I mean, you can be trespassed. Yes, I'm talking to you, okay? So just go ahead with That's this. cordial. So, are you or are you not going to make a transaction? I will be, yes. Okay. Well, they would like you to do that. If not... Okay, I will be choosing. I will be choosing a card. I haven't gotten to that point of my transaction, which is time, place, and manner. I have until this time is closed to do that for the place and manner. Okay. They're not going to let you... Could they, don't, they cannot decide that because that's not a legitimate... No, that is... Can you can you please get your sergeant or lieutenant here? I want to speak to your for this not right now. That's yes, you can, sir. So are you refusing? You exactly what so are you telling me that if I don't leave, that I'm under I'm arrest? Go through, no, you're not under arrest. So I can stay here. As of right now, until I get this situated. Okay. okay. So now, I'm trying to be as level with you as possible. Okay. I'm very level. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> if you don't conduct any business here, which you are not right now. I am. No, you're not. You go purchase. That's subjective. That's, conducting business. That's a subjective thought. Okay. Don't be subjective. Do you want to conduct business with her? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. He doesn't have the right. He is a government employee. He has no right unless I've done something Absolutely. illegal. So property rights uh, disappear when you become an employee of the government? Gee, I didn't know that. I didn't know that someone could be such a moron and actually believe that kind of thing. I mean, come on now. Our rights don't automatically disappear just because we're a member of the government. Unless I've done something illegal, he has not the right to you tell me to leave this you building. You haven't even looked at the car safety. You have it all on film. Okay. I have it well, all on film. You guys go ahead and start calling the Plano Police Department. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're go good. Ahead. Okay. You're good. Are you well, no, you're good. Yes, Call the Fort Worth Police Department. Okay. Yeah, no, it's time to go. He wants you to leave. So, uh, under threat of arrest, are you asking me to leave? I will leave under threat of arrest. Otherwise, I will be saying. Okay. I have now asked you to leave because he has asked you to leave. Under threat of arrest? Yes. All right. Thank you. So, now we will be going down to the Fort Worth Police Department. Mm -hmm. Stevens, what is your badge number? 4553. And what is, your, what is your name and badge number? Would you yes, like he, to leave? he already said he wanted her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And what is your name and batch number? Floors 4828. All right. So we are leaving under threat of duress, which I've done nothing illegal here. Have I, what have I not, done illegal? Not duress. Arrest. All right. And what have I done here? Well, you're trespassing. Why? What, what, because what's the illegal? Not conducting business and he yes, has asked right. you to leave. I said that I am going right to be right. purchasing a stamp when, when, and a card. When, 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 so that is business. He gave you the opportunity. I haven't picked out my card. Okay. So how can I make a purchase if I don't know which card I've picked out? 
How how can I purchase a card if I don't know which card I'm purchasing? And what is the time limit? Okay, you've had this whole time to do it. And What's the whole time? What, what, the time that you walked in. And what does your investigation show? How much time has your investigation show I've been here? Okay. Do you, your do you investigation? Go do you want to go to jail? I don't want to go to jail. I am trying to talk to you here. Then let's talk before about you. That. Okay, I'm fine with that since you've already threatened arrest. Go. And now let's call your sergeant. Let's push. Let's, go. Is it a push? I wasn't looking. I was looking at your face. Oh, boy, what a moron. I mean, she stood there for like 15, 20 minutes, not doing a damn thing. I mean, the camera showed it. But at any rate, let's just go ahead and skip to her final thoughts as she threatens to file lawsuits and everything like that. File complaints, lawsuits, blah, 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 whatever she thinks she can get away with for being trespassed from this post office. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Tune in in the next hour, hour and 45 minutes. We will be going to the Fort Worth Police Department. We will be making complaints on these two officers here about their professionalism and about their knowledge. They even went inside the post office. Ignorant, ignorant cops. Look at them. Look at them. Fucking foolish. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate it. Texas Girl Audits is out. Okay, so you're complaining about ignorance. Uh, well, maybe you should go back to school, honey, because, well, you are probably uh, a lot more ignorant than most people I've seen on the frauditing circuit out here. So, yeah, you might want to watch it and get yourself a real education like you got today. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?